talking porn movies. No, sex tapes. Is there a difference? I think so. Hey everyone, I'm Sandra Matos, this is Sam Miller, and you are watching IO, where we overload you with some delicious information. And today, we are talking about Farah Abraham, again. You would think that being put in place on the Dr. Phil show, that Farah Abraham would maybe change her mind about the whole idea of selling a sex tape to Vivid Entertainment. Hold on here, you heard me say sex tape and Vivid Entertainment, right? Is there a difference between having a sex tape and doing porn? Well, that's the thing about this infamous piece of film. It went from being a personal video that she didn't want anybody to see to being a sex tape. Now it's been sold for almost a million dollars, so now it's a fully blown porn movie. Exactly, it's porn. What's the difference? She's in this video with, his name is James Dean, porn star. So they're getting it on and it's for the purpose of being sold. So what is the difference? I don't, it's not an actual private sex tape that she had with her boyfriend. Well, this is something she did intentionally saying deliberately I'm gonna film a sex tape and I'm gonna sell it and I'm gonna become rich and famous. I think it went from being a personal tape when she wasn't sure she was gonna make any money out of it and then when she realized that people might bite, that's when she jumped on the old porn train. Woo -woo. I don't think it was a personal tape at all. All. She knew what she was doing from the get-go. You know, we've had Paris Hilton, Kim Kardashian, which she is the most famously known for having a sex tape. And you know, these young girls are just following right in her footsteps thinking, I'm just gonna make a sex tape and become rich and famous. Oh God, I hope it doesn't happen. So there is a little bit of history behind this tape. When James Dean got involved, he told media that he was asked to go out and pose as Farah Abraham's boyfriend so that they could pass this all off as a leaked tape. He refused, but now Vivid Entertainment has jumped on board and just bought it all anyway. It was planned, and now that there's enough attention going on in the media about it, they thought, why not now jump on it and get that money? Smart move on Vivid Entertainment's side, I think. So Sandra, let's talk titles. If you were gonna be doing a porn movie, you know what you wouldn't call it? Well, Farah Abraham Abraham knows what she would call it. It's called Fair Abraham. Backdoor Teen Mom. <gasps> what? Backdoor Teen Mom? I mean, I'm not a porn movie watcher, but I don't know, maybe that would rock someone's boat. Sam, would you let some dude go through your back door for a million dollars? No. Not even for a million dollars, okay? Not even for a million dollars. Now, the funny thing is, not too long ago, Farah came out and said she would absolutely absolutely not accept a penny less than two million dollars for said videotape. Well, she sure does. She should put her money where her butthole is. So did she really devalue herself at that point? <laughs> Look at what she's already doing. Yeah, no. Vivid Entertainment decided to sign on Farah because of her popularity, and they say that the actual footage itself is amazing. We'll see. Will we see? Are you gonna see? What are your thoughts on this whole Farah sex tape or porn tape? Do you think there's a difference? Let us know your thoughts below. To continue getting overloaded on information, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.